Good afternoon everyone. <laughs> I'm actually going to be doing a revisit on my latest line of print. I did really like the effect and the simplicity of just these four lines into a landscape, but I feel like it is missing the characteristics of the image that I worked off of. So we're just going to revisit it. Just going to pull out some of the key features actually in the photograph and then translate them onto the print. Basically carving out some lines. This is the test print from last time, if any of you recognise it. I will leave a link down below to the short little video of me test printing it out if you want to see that. Other than that, that's pretty much you updated. <laughs> so what I want to do is I want to get rid of this upper layer here completely. I want, want to go in the landscape way. So if any of the little divots actually end up transferring any ink onto the paper, it will go... The lines will be diagonal, diagonal, horizontal. Sorry, <laughs> making a bit more landscapey because this is actually the top of the landscape. Just trying to work out if I need to leave a gap and then carve around it so that I still get that nice bit of line. Actually, no, I think I'm gonna leave that bit blank. I'm just going to focus on the lines in the actual mountains because that'll be clear and smooth, versus it being much more rocky and textured. Because this is very cliffy, quite a lot of dark areas. Don't want to put too many lines because it becomes overcrowded. But I need to put something in order it to give it a bit of texture and depth. And that bottom line there is the water and the, what's separating it is the foliage and then you go up until the tree line. I'm just trying to think of a way of best representing the trees. I, think I want to put horizontal lines down for the gaps where you can see the actual land. But only a couple, there is, quite, there is a bit of a gap here. I'm going to go zigzaggy. You probably can't see it from here, but I am drawing lines on here. <laughs> Now that I've drawn them on, I'm just going to carve them out. Hope for the best. You can change the blade of the lino cutter, but I've always found that this size in particular is easier to cut with the lino because there are some flat ones, but I just tend to end up missing the lino or it doesn't make any marks, or I end up cutting myself, which is. <laughs> Definitely not something you want to do because a lino cut is really painful. But you can still achieve two different marks with it. You can obviously go quite deep and then quite light, so you get two different kind of mark, mark lines on it. I'm just going to make this line a bit more deeper. There we go. Okay, it looks a bit funky now, but that is what test prints are for. They're just to try out, see if you need to add any more lines, or take away any more lines, or just adjust the print and carving. 
at the moment. It doesn't really look like I've done much, but I do think in terms of texture, it will give a bit more depth. So what I'm going to quickly do is line this up and then do a test print. So as this is a test piece, I can literally use printing paper. I think it works out about a penny per piece of paper because it's only used to see what the actual image is going to look like and also to write down. You can even use like lined paper as long as you don't mind it being lines. It's all about just seeing what will actually be printed onto the line print. Obviously if it does work out nicely, not always lost. I haven't wetted this paper either, which is what I normally do with my proper prints. It's mostly down to time, and like I said, it is just for a test print. And also with test prints, you can do double-sided, which is what I'm going to do as well. And also, <laughs> another one out to the books, if you do make a mark like that, ink, lay over, it's completely fine. No one ever has to see the test prints, they only ever see the proper professional prints, they don't see the middle kind of messy part. Imagine it like baking, no one ever sees, sees <laughs> no one ever really sees the process of it properly. They don't see the struggle or the thoughts or the character or the charisma or the time behind each individual print, they only see the end product. Moment of truth. Okay. I do prefer the little marks compared to the big ones, but I think you can edit these out by if you put some little ones, they don't look so big, which is rather strange because if normally when you put something small against something big, it it's very more noticeable. But because you've got something physically there that's similar, it doesn't look as dramatic. So from that point, I'm just going to quickly put this out of the way. Nice print though. It's not actually that bad for the fact that I haven't actually wetted the paper, which does make all the difference. So with these, I'm just going to still work off the photograph, but put in a couple of the smaller marks. I don't want to put one just here. With the smaller ones, I kind of want to put some even smaller ones down open this in the area it's that really awkward time of day where the light is kind of coming and going so I do apologise if you can't really see it I've tried my best to keep the lighting similar. Uh, the bits down the bottom, I'm actually going to keep straightforward. I might put one more line in. Okay, I'll do that as the last one. And with the same piece of paper, I'm just going to turn it over because it is water based ink, it does dry quite quickly as well. Quickly line that up with the remaining ink from my board. Try this again. The more times you actually print a liner print, the better. Uh, layers of ink you actually get on top of the print which makes it more likely that you actually get a block print getting a block print getting a block print a first time is actually really hard because i find it get, does get blotchy and because there isn't the background strength of leftover water based oil oil a uh, water based ink okay It 
does look a lot better, but I still think that this top part needs to go. And maybe some more, a lot more of the mountain needs to be lined out. But I think we'll save up for another time because I believe this video is way too long already as it is for just a quick little change up of a liner print. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it and learned something useful. If you have any questions, do leave it down in the comment section below. And also don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And I shall see you guys in my next one. Bye.